Hi, so this is a quick video to show off how you can use the global texturing module with the mesh module. Um, I have a mesh here and what I've done is turned on uh, the geo texture option. Uh, geo texture is a really powerful, very simple technique. Uh, it's great for doing striations or gradual color changes across your object. And um, here we have a, a geo height texture albedo just affecting the albedo and I have a little one in here and you can see that if I turn down the blend uh, then it won't affect it. And right now uh, this is being applied in world space and this module also has uh, height gradients and height hues and these will work the same way. Uh, you can apply these to the object on a per texture basis on your splat maps. So this gets applied to the whole object whether or not it has splat maps this uh, geo texture and um, uh, so you might have, for instance, uh, your grass using the, if we were using the um, a height gradient tint, we might say that, hey, the splat map grass, you know, is going to brown as it gets higher. Or you might have striations over your whole terrain using the geo texture uh, to give you that look. And you might want to place objects into the world and have them match that. So by default, that's what they're going to do. And if I move this object up and down, you can see that the uh, coloring is actually changing because it's being applied in world space. And so then those same effects that you've applied to your train can be applied to all the rocks and things like that to kind of tweak the colors um, so that they all sort of mesh together and match really nice. But sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want it to always be stable and always look like the same thing. And so for that, you can come uh, to your material and there's an option here called force local space. And if you turn this on, then everything will be done in local space. That includes triplanar texturing, things like that. Uh, and then this stuff will no longer slide around. It'll be exactly um, what you expect it to be. And so as I move this up and down, you see it's not changing at all. And so that's actually really important, um, you know, depending on which behavior you want. And that uh, force local space option works for all world space effects. Um, so. I thought about separating, separating them into a bunch of little toggles, but it just seemed like overkill. It seems like if you want things to be in the context of the world and all of its world space texturing, uh, then you, you turn off that option. If you want things to be textured as they are and have control over that, then you uh, turn on local space and, and set everything up how you want it. So I hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.